Welcome to another dose of Teflon on Titanium. I am your host, Scotty G, back at it again. Today we're going to talk about sex and how to initiate in a masculine way. This is going to be a fun one, and I'm going to go over 10 different techniques that you can try to mix it up in your bedroom. If you're in a dead bedroom situation, it may just because you suck at initiating, period. But you can keep it hot very easily if you mix it up, giving the, the things that I'm going to give you here. And have fun. Have fun with it. Have fun with your bedroom. That's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be a stress reliever. And a physical connection is a beautiful thing with somebody that you care about long term. And it can be beautiful. All right. Now realize that some of these techniques can overlap with each other. Like I said, I've got 10 of these. So let's go over number one. I call this the rollover. This is a very, very common scenario you're sitting in bed you've had a conversation for about 20 minutes the kids are asleep she lays down you lay down and you roll over and you initiate contact physical contact that is a normal initiation for married couples it's one of the easier techniques to do just do it roll over take a chance take your shot buddy if she says no all good you get an extra hour of sleep and that's how i think of it that's how you Avoid getting butt hurt and don't take rejection personally. If it's becoming more and more, if rejection happens all the time, then that's a problem. And that's when you have to speak up. So think normal makeout session. That's what uh, the rollover is. Don't want to get too graphic, obviously. But let's talk about some things that uh, we need to prep for this one. Careful with wetness. If you have rough hands, if your hands are super dry, don't just go right to her crotch. It's going to hurt. It's going to be a huge turnoff. She's not going to like that very much. Simple saliva on your fingers, it's all you need. Let's talk about hygiene real quick. <laughs> I don't want to get too gross here, but clip your fingernails, keep your fingernails clean, do the best you can to, uh, to keep your, your hands clean when it comes to this kind of thing. Some women do get turned on by very hard hands, calloused hands. I realize that. But when it comes to this kind of stuff, just be aware. Be aware of what, uh, what you're, what's on your hands, <laughs> okay? And when it comes to surgical hands, especially if you're, you're going to use that as an, an initiation technique, stay away from the clitoris initially because she's going to be very, very sensitive. It's going to, it actually, in a lot of cases, it's going to hurt. Like I said, when, when it hurts, she's going to get out of her body. She's going to get in her head and it could potentially end your session. So just be aware that the clitoris is very, very sensitive. She has to warm up a little bit when it comes to that kind of contact. So take your time. But if you initiate sex this way, be aware of her sensitivity. So number three, I call this the 50-50 initiation. I also call this the yellow light. What I mean by 50-50 initiation is it takes a little extra oomph for her to get in the mood. She may not totally be in the mood, but it takes her a little bit of a push to get to that point. She may be tired where her voice is playful. It's up and down and she's open to it, but she's not completely turned on. An example of this is when she says, Oh, well, I don't know. I'm a little tired. That's more of a yellow light as opposed to I'm done. I'm tired. Good night. I love you. That's a red light. So the yellow light is if she's a little bit playful, she can be pushed into that, that moment. So that's the yellow light. Number four, assertive, dirty talk slash direction. So an example of this is it's go time versus do you want to have sex? There's a huge difference between those two statements. One's passive, the other one's assertive. One will initiate a sexual encounter and the other one will shut it down. <laughs> Plain and simple, okay? So don't be passive when it comes to the bedroom. Be sure of yourself. Know that you're the man. Think James Bond. James Bond doesn't ask for sex. He takes sex. So confidence is key with this one. Zero hesitation. Any hesitation is going to, it's going to be a turnoff to a woman. So examples of this is direction. Put this on, 
quote unquote, take your pants off, quote unquote, that's direction. For many women, don't ask, tell. This is great as well when it comes to something that she can do while you get up, shut the door and lock the door of your bedroom. Give her some direction to do. It takes you about 10 seconds to get to the door and lock it. She has something to do in that meantime. That awkward moment that you have between those two moments, it's going to fill that time with a very sexy direction. That's all I'm going to talk about with this one because we're just talking initiation. So number five, the pin technique. This is where you don't say anything. You walk up to your woman. She's next to a wall. And you give her a hug and lean her against the wall and you initiate at that point. When it comes to the pin technique, obviously you don't want to hurt her. You don't want to hit her, hit her head on the, on the wall. But the pin technique can be a very direct way of initiating sex. And it's a big turn on for many women. That one's an easy one. That's number five. Number six, the surprise ambush. This is a fun one, especially if you've got young kids, uh, babies, infants. A very easy one to pull off uh, during the day. Babies aren't aware of their parents having sex. Maybe they're actually out in the, in the living room playing together. The ambush can be used for a very, very fun time. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can wait for her to come into the bedroom and initiate contact at that point. She could be getting ready in the bathroom and you come up from behind her and you can do the pin technique. Like I said, all of these things can blend together and you can get creative. There's another one called the pantry pull, but I included this one in the ambush because you could be in the pantry or in a bathroom and she walks by, you can grab her, bring her in the pantry and initiate a sexual contact at that point. Have fun with this one. It's very effective when it comes to small children, being away for the weekend, being in public. If some folks are like that, if, you're, if that's your thing, if that's your kink, this is a great way to go. So basically pull them into a room and initiate. Just do it. Confident, no hesitation, no talking. Number seven, the slow dance. My wife and I enjoy dancing. Many people enjoy dancing. One of the easiest ways to connect at night before you go to bed is just put on some, some light music, some music of your past, and dance. All you have to do is do a little slow dancing that initiates the physical contact, and it doesn't take much from there to escalate things. Whisper sweet nothings in her ear, eye-to-eye -eye contact, and initiate. What do I mean by initiate? Give her a big fat kiss, all right? Grab her by the back of the neck. Do a little back massage while you're dancing. Anything like that in that moment will be pretty well received in many cases. If your wife is resentful, if she's had a bad day, this may not always work. Just go for it. Initiate with intent. There should be no question about your motives. Most of the men I talk to, they have fear of rejection. They take rejection personally. That's where a lot of this comes from, especially if they've been rejected a lot in the past. What happens is that's emasculating for a man, and eventually he's going to shut down because he doesn't want to feel bad. Same thing goes for women. If you initiate a lot and he says no, that's not going to make you feel very good, is it? So that's number seven. Number eight, the masseuse. This one's overutilized quite a bit, especially when it comes to passive men. But the masseuse is a wonderful way of warming a woman up. There's a big difference between massage touch and sensual touch. You can do both. It's okay to give your wife a massage without intent. If you're using massage as a sexual initiation technique all the time, that is going to be a turnoff long term, and she's going to avoid you giving her a massage. So that is a problem. If, if I'm talking to you directly, use the other techniques to mix it up. A tactic that you can use in the future, if this has been a problem for you, where she won't let you give her a massage because she knows what's coming, all you have to do is tell her to roll over, 
start rubbing her back and tell her, I'm going to give you a massage until you fall asleep. She may or may not believe you. That's up to her. But you've got to be able to control yourself. Have discipline and sexual control is important on your end, fellas. When it comes to her, she's going to know what's coming and it's going to be a turnoff. It's anything that's good can be a bad thing if it's overutilized. A lot of married couples that I talk to really get in the rut of massages as an initiation technique. So be careful. And that's number eight. Number nine, I call this a show of hands. You grab her hands and you put them where you want them without saying anything. She's not going to question your motives at that point. Obviously, you don't want to do this if you're getting red lights. Even yellow lights at this point is not going to work very well. If you do this often, she's not going to like that very well. So this is something to utilize every now and then when you know things are going great and you give her directions. So this is a variant of the, of the direction, but you do it in a physical way. You may be surprised at how your woman will react to this, especially when she's turned on. If you've already initiated, this could be used very well and very effectively during the act of sex. So this isn't just an initiation technique. It's something that could be in your sexual toolbox and it should be used fellas. And number 10, I call this the Viking. Vikings don't ask, they take what they want. This one might sound a little harsh to some women and some guys, but this is the most direct way of initiating sex. And it's a doozy. You know that your wife or girlfriend is turned on and you take her. There's multiple ways of doing this. You want to show your strength, but in a loving way. You obviously don't, don't want to hurt her, okay? So Vikings take what they want. They don't ask. So there's different variations of this one. You can carry her over the threshold. You can carry her through the door. You can do another one that I call the ass carry. All you have to do is if you're face to face, you grab her by the ass cheeks, you pull her up, and she straddles you, and you can take her wherever you want to go. Lay her on the bed, lay her on the couch, go in the kitchen. Obviously, the main destination is going to be your bedroom. So pick her up, take her to the bedroom. You don't have to say anything. Maybe she might have let out a little bit of a giggle. She gets a little bit nervous. That's okay. That's okay. Don't get butt hurt. Don't take it personally. Just grab her and take her. Do I recommend doing this every time you have sex? No, I don't. But this is a very powerful way of initiating sex. And you're welcome. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. So there's a long list of things that you can try. Mix it up. That's the key. Be confident. No hesitation. Keep your talking to a minimum. Keep it interesting. And happy hunting, fellas. So until next time, be desirable.